401ks, um, <clears throat> in my opinion, uh, if in, in a company, they usually um, run by, by professionals. Um, and they can do, uh, they can hopefully do a better job investing than, than the average person can do. Um, the problem is everybody has been hit pretty hard. And uh, I know even on my 401k, you know, I, I experienced about a 40% drop, over, you know, at, at the worst. Um, but since that time, I have uh, I've experienced um, probably a oh, let's see, I was working some figures up, maybe about a 25% um, uh, return um, by staying in with the funds. The market has has started to do pretty well, and um, so I did not. I did not panic, and I didn't realize those losses. Once you realize those losses, they're gone. They're, they're, if, you, if you sell, if, if you, you pull sell, out, if you yeah. pull out, you, you you've lost it. And a lot of people, God love them, that they 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 came to the bank for safety, and that's wonderful. If you you know if you want to sleep at night to, and, and because you've got the full the insurance and everything else, but you'll never recover as quickly. In, in a bank or any other type of investment unless you get back into the market. 25% of the loss that I had incurred, I got back so far. Do you have any sense of when you'd get it all back? I mean, um, if, if this market will continue, a lot of people I, I talked with on, on the um, investment end um, are saying the same thing. We're due for a correction at this point. The market is kind of oversold at this point. We should see a 5 to 10% uh, correction. But then getting through that, it should open up again. So by the end of the year, I think the market's going to be back in full swing again. And um, uh, we still have a long way to go to climb out of that hole, but um, it's going in the right direction. And um, um, uh, so, you know, I look at it for, for myself. You stay put. I mean, I, I've made very uh, wise um, choices on on the the structure of my 401k, and I just let it do its thing. And uh, you know, as long as you have sound fun, fun fundamentals originally, um, uh, you you know, by by trying to time the market or, try, or trying to um, uh, second guess what's going to happen, you end up losing. You know, it's, for 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 people, you know, in my my situation, I'm 55. So I still have a ways to go, and uh, so I'm going to let it. I'm going to ride with it and, and let it come back up and and, uh, and recover. Can you talk about your allocation, like the percentage, and if you change that at all, or what it is? You said you have you invested very well or very wisely. Right. And there, I there, are, there are, you know, I have I have across the board. I have a percentage in in uh, fixed income. I have a percentage in. Um, um, uh, government uh, 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 bonds. I have a percentage, and as I get closer to retirement, <coughs> I, I sh you know I'll be shifting the shifting the uh, percentages of those things into the more fixed income type um, um, products. But I still am heavily involved with this with the uh, <coughs> uh, stock market as well as the um, uh, European and, and Asian stock markets as well. So you have to go beyond the borders and, and get into the world. Uh, to the world economies because we've seen where when the United States is not doing well, maybe maybe the European nations are doing well, or, or the Pacific Rim is doing well. So you spread out um, and, and don't have everything in one market as you don't have, have, have everything in the same type of, a, of an investment. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, go to patriotledger.com.